grab a hold of our ankle and then we want to bring the ankle out toward the outside without going into medial rotation of femur we want to really try and keep a neutral position of the femur as we bring the ankle out toward the outside we're going into dorsiflexion of ankle and eversion of ankle and then Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Steven here with Team Euphoric, and today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to be your own therapist by demonstrating the top five myofascial stretching exercises for posture correction, and more specifically, I'm gonna be teaching you how to correct postural bow legs. Before I get on with the exercises, I'll first wanna quickly recap what exactly postural bow legs are and why exactly you should care. Postural bow legs is a combination of medial rotation of the femur or your thigh bone being rotated in toward the midline, pronation or eversion of the foot or having a collapsed arch, and hyperextension of the knee. And when you have a medially rotated femur, the axis of motion in the knee is going to be oblique to the coronal plane, meaning the hyperextension is going to be in the postural lateral compartment. And if you don't address it, it can lead to things like low back pain, hip pain, knee pain, ankle pain, and foot pain. So you would want to address it immediately. And one of the ways in which we could address it would be to do some strengthening exercises for the muscles that are responsible for lateral rotation of the femur, supination or inversion of the foot, and the muscles strengthening on the postural lateral compartment of the knee. And we did those a few days ago. I include a link right up over here to the top five strengthening exercises for posture correction to correct postural bowl legs. And then once you've done those exercises, a terrific complement to those exercises would be to do some myofascial stretching exercises for the muscles that are responsible for medial rotation of the femur, or turning your thigh in toward the midline, pronation or eversion of the foot, and also stretching the medial compartment of the knee. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing for you guys today. So without further ado, here are the top five myofascial stretching exercises for posture correction to correct postural bow legs. The first myofascial stretching exercise for posture correction to correct postural bow legs is going to be for the gluteus medius muscle. Specifically, we're going to be targeting the anterior fibers. For it, we're going to get into a seated position and we want to push the ischial tuberosities down into the ground. We want to take the contralateral leg, so the leg opposite to the side that we're stretching, and project it forward. We're going into maximum extension of knee, dorsiflexion of ankle by pointing your toes toward our head, inversion of ankle by pointing the sole of our foot in toward the inside, and medial rotation of femur by turning the toes in toward the inside. Then we're going to go into lateral version of the pelvis and we're going to do that by projecting the heel forward. With the ipsilateral leg, we're gonna flex the knee to 90 degrees. We're gonna go into dorsiflexion of ankle, eversion of ankle, and then cross the leg over the thigh. Then we're gonna go into retroversion of pelvis, flat lumbar, flat thoracic, chin tucked in, crown head up, eyes up and down at the floor to put the dura mater under tension with the ipsilateral arm, maximum extension of elbow and wrist, maximum external rotation of shoulder, project the palm forward with the contralateral hand. We're gonna induce an adduction by pulling the knee across. And this is the myofascial stretching exercise for the gluteus medius muscle, specifically the anterior your fibers. Next, the second myofascial stretching exercise for posture correction to correct postural bow legs is going to be for the gluteus minimus muscle. And once again, we're going to be in a seated position for this one. Ideally, you want to be on a solid surface. However, if you have tight hips like I do, you can use a prop like a yoga block to lift yourself up a little bit. We're going to go ahead and take the contralateral leg, so the leg opposite to the side that we're stretching, and we're going to project it out to the side with the knee at 90 degrees. Then with the ipsilateral leg, we're going to go into 90 degrees at the ankle, 90 degrees at the, at the knee, and 90 degrees degrees at the hip, but we're going to push the knee down toward the floor. We're going to go into retroversion of pelvis, flat lumbar spine, flat thoracic, chin tucked in, crown head up, eyes looking down at the floor to put the dura mater under tension with the arms, maximum extension of elbow and wrist, maximum external rotation of shoulder, project the palm forward, and then to prioritize the anterior fibers, what we're going to do is we are going to prioritize the pushing of the ischial tuberosity down into the ground over the pressing of the knee down into the ground. And this is the myofascial stretching exercise for the gluteus minimus muscle, specifically the anterior fibers. Next, the third myofascial Myofascial stretching exercise for posture correction to correct postural bow legs is going to be for the semimembranosus muscle. And once again, we're in a seated position. For this one, we want to go ahead and take the ipsilateral leg, so the leg of the side that we're stretching, and project it forward. We're going into maximum extension of knee. We're going to get the dorsiflexion of ankle by pointing the toes toward our head, inversion of ankle by pointing the sole of our foot in toward the inside, and then we want to go into abduction of the femur by bringing the heel outside of hip width. Then from here, we're going to go into lateral version of the pelvis, and this time, we're going to do a contralateral rotation. So we want to take the contralateral pelvis and we're going to bring it backward. Then from this position right over here with the contralateral leg, we're going to flex the knee to 90 degree, go into dorsiflexion of ankle, eversion of ankle by pointing the sole out toward the side and then drive the knee down toward the ground. We are going into anti-version of pelvis by rolling forward onto the ischial tuberosity without going into extension of the lumbar spine. We got flat lumbar, flat thoracic, chin tucked in, crown head up, eyes looking down at the floor to put the dura mater under tension with the arms, maximum extension of elbow and wrist, maximum extension of shoulder, maximum external rotation of shoulder, project the palm forward, and then principle of action, we're going to go into hip flexion by driving our umbilicus forward. And this is the myofascial stretching exercise for the semimembranosus muscle. Next, 
The fourth myofascial stretching exercise for posture correction to correct postural bow legs is going to be for the vastus medialis muscle. And specifically, we're going to be targeting the BML, so the vastus medialis longitudinal fibers. For this one right over here, we're going to be in a prone position, meaning you're going to be laying down on your stomach. And what we want to do is you are going to relax the lower body. We want to go ahead and bring the knees together, and we are going to flex the knee with the knee of the with the ipsilateral hand, so the hand of the same side that we're stretching. We're going to go ahead and grab a hold of our ankle, and then we want to bring the ankle out toward the outside without going into medial rotation of femur. We want to really try and keep a neutral position of the femur as we bring the ankle out toward the outside. We're going into dorsiflexion of ankle an eversion of ankle and then with the contralateral hand what we're going to do maximum extension of elbow and wrist maximum external rotation of shoulder and at the cervical spine we want to do a contralateral rotation by rotating away from the side that we're stretching and pinning the ear toward the ground and this is the myofascial stretching exercise for the vastus medialis muscle next the fifth and final myofascial stretching exercise for posture correction to correct postural bow legs is going to be for the fibularis longus and the fibularis brevis for this exercise right over here, we're going to get into a half kneeling position, so as though you're in the bottom position of a lunge. Then, the foot that's on the floor, this is going to be the side that we are stretching. We want to go ahead and we are going to drive the knee forward. We want to get into as much dorsiflexion as possible. From this position right over here, what we're going to do is we want to roll onto the outside of our foot. By rolling onto the outside, we are going to create a varus force at the ankle and we're going to go into inversion at the foot. And this is the myofascial stretching exercise for the fibularis longus and the fibularis brevis. And there you have it. Those were the top five myofascial stretching exercises for posture correction to correct postural bow legs. If you have postural bow legs or if you have issues with regard to low back pain, hip pain, knee pain, ankle pain, or foot pain, go ahead and give those exercises a try. And if you have given them try, go ahead and drop your comments down in the comment section. Let me know what you guys thought of the exercises. In terms of the programming for the myofascial stretching exercises, what you want to do is three sets of a 30 second hold for each of the stretches every single day. And the reason we're doing the stretches every single day is because we're trying to elicit a postural change. And one of the most important things when trying to elicit a postural change is going to be accumulating enough time under tension. So if we only do these stretches once a week or once a month, you're not going to be able to see the true benefit of the stretches. So three sets of a 30 second hold every single day. And then on Monday at two o'clock PM, I'm going to be taking you through the top five Aldoa exercises for posture correction to correct postural bow legs. So be out on the lookout for that this Monday at 2 o'clock p.m. If you have any questions at all with regard to any of the exercises that I demonstrated today, go ahead and ask your questions down in the comments section so I can help you guys out. But that's pretty much it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to smash that like button so I know to keep making these types of videos in the future. And if you're either new to the channel or haven't subscribed yet, be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, as I will be uploading new videos every single day. That's it for today's video. Thanks for tuning in, and I will see you again tomorrow.